Hello and welcome to this Alchemy Coffee Break session. Today's topic will be speeding up resizing with Alchemy Layout Manager. Layout Manager is a technology developed by Alchemy Software that helps speed up and the resizing of dialog boxes after translation. This is usually run either by the translators before delivering um, a TTK to the localization engineer or localization team, or by the localization teams themselves upon receiving a TTK from a translation company. Who runs it depends a little bit on the process um, used in that transaction. The uh, layout manager is characterized by a fairly simple interface. There is only very few options, um, but that simple interface actually uh, host a very complex uh, mechanism and a complex algorithm that will calculate relationship between the different components of a dialog box, increase the size of those components in order to host the new text, which is usually longer, and then relay the dialog box so that the look and feel stays the same as the original. Now, I think the simplest thing will be to show you how this works. So here is a TTK that maybe as a localization engineer I may have received from a translation company. What I would then do is I would most likely run the validation expert. Now, you know, in this case, we know exactly what we're looking for. So we'll just run one check, which is clip text in dialog boxes, and we'll run it only on the dialog boxes. Click on run, have a look at the results. You know, once it's completed, and we can see that we have a few truncations here and there. So if I switch to visual view, I can then have a look and see what type of truncations we are faced with. Uh, let's have a look here. We have oh yeah, okay, we have a truncation here, and we can see here that you know these three truncations will require quite a little bit of work to fix because fixing the, f the top two means that we will most likely need to make the whole dialog box a little bit wider. Now, as you can see, this gives you a couple of ideas about the type of truncations you can get here. And once again, with truncation that will involve moving a button. And here we have fairly simple truncation. So this is the type of truncations you will get most likely when you receive a TTK that has been translated. So what we want to do here is we want to use the layout manager to do the first pass of resizing so that we only have then to look at, you know, other issues or maybe more complex issues. So let's remove all the results here, select the dialog box once again and run the layout manager. To do that, we can either use the Layout Manager shortcut here at the bottom, or we can go into Tools, Layout Manager Expert. The interface is very simple, as I said earlier, we choose the object we want to work on, so, you know, we've selected it here, and then we use the active object, or maybe a jump file if we have multiple TTKs to resize, and we go into the options. Now, they're very simple, most of them have to do with thresholds and sensitivity, sensitivity, sorry, um, you know, decides when it starts. Most of the time the default settings will be perfectly fine. The only one you may change on occasion is the allow dialog resizing, which allows you to tell Catalyst to leave the dialog boxes the size, you know, at the size they are. Which is quite useful when you're dealing with uh, panes, by example, where, you know, the, the, the box or the, the dialog really is actually hosted in a larger dialog box, so it might be better to leave, to disable that in those cases. This is not the case here, so we just click on OK. And as you can see, because we don't have that many dialog, the layout manager has done this very quickly. Uh, it's been designed to work through a lot of dialog boxes very quickly, but quite efficiently nonetheless. So if we have a look at our uh, 2510, which is the 20510, which is the dialog box which had those three truncations, you can see that the three truncations have been um, fixed, but even though that those two items have been made wider, the whole dialog box still holds them, because the whole dialog box has been increased, the size has been increased, and everything has been relayed so that it still looks like the original dialog box. If you look in the toolbar here, you've uh, view original dialog which allows you to see exactly what it was before and what it is now. And as you can see, even though it is wider, the look and feel of the dialog box hasn't changed. The next item was, uh, well there must have been a truncation here, probably here on top, and this one had those three truncated items here and everything has been laid out so that it's still you know, everything fits and everything is up there. 
Okay, and I think finally we had this little truncation here. So as you can see, the first part of resizing has been done. A um, couple of notes, if you have uh, controls on top of each other, you know, by design, and then you decide which one gets highlighted at the end, uh, that the layout manager will let you know about those and ask you to intervene afterwards so that you can then double check the, you know, the work of the layout manager and also correct it eventually if, if, if it had to be. Um, this basically con concludes this very short session on the Layout Manager. Um, if you have any questions, whoops, where's my interface? So, you know, the Layout Manager, which has that fairly simple interface, fairly complex al algorithm, which is able to deal with fairly complex dialog boxes, even if we have overlapping controls, as in by design, we will be able to uh, let you fix them, but we'll d double check with you to make sure that they're correct. Um, so if you have any questions, obviously, about the Layout Manager or any other Catalyst-related topic, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at alchemysoftware.ie. Uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for your attention and have a nice day. Goodbye.